Hello, in this screencast I'm going to quickly talk about the public land survey and how to read um, the public land survey coordinates on a topographic map. Now it's very difficult to try to jump into this without quickly talking about the public land survey. So for our class you do have this handout um, that you are expected to read through to explain it. And I'm just going to scroll down so you can see how the public land survey has divided things up. What we're looking at here is a big kind of a a map of the state of Wisconsin and we can see that there are lines that are going vertically and horizontally across the entire state. Now what these lines are doing is dividing the state up into a grid pattern as you can see. Um, now this grid pattern is part of the public land survey. I'm going to zoom in to try to show this information a little bit more closely. But basically the PLS just divides the landscape into a grid and it labels it in different boxes. So these big boxes that we're looking at are the township boxes. We can see that the baseline for the state of Wisconsin is at the bottom and that all of the lines going above it, um, these are the lines that travel and they go from west to east and they kind of tell us how far uh, north we are from the baseline, which in this case is the very bottom of the state, um, we can see that all of those lines go up, okay? And if we go from this line right here, it says principal meridian, that actually goes through this whole area right here where the numbers are, that divides the state into um, ranges that are west of the principal meridian and east of the principal meridian. Okay, so if we wanted to go and we were to take a look at this box right here where the tail on the queue is in Marquette, and um, we wanted to figure out what is this township uh, or what is this location, we would actually need to count over the number of boxes that we are from the principal meridian. So if we go, we are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So this is township. Um, so T8, and then, oh, excuse me, the township is north and south. So we would actually, so we know that this is 8 over, and so this is actually range 8 west, because the ranges go from east to west, and then the townships go from north to south. So we can actually count up the boxes from all the way down here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. So this is Township 15 North, and it's north because we know that we are north of that baseline. We can also come over here and see that it's 15. So they just give you some of that notation to help you not have to count every single one. But we know that this location where the tail on the queue is in the Marquette County, this is Township 15 North, Range 8 East, um, for all of Wisconsin. Now if we were to zoom in on this queue and we wanted to know how this area was divided down further, we would actually be looking at this box right here. And we can see that each of these township blocks is divided up even more, um, even smaller. Okay, so we can actually see that. So this is just showing what Dane County, actually, excuse me, this is the Dane County box. And if we were to go and look at one of these, it is itself further divided. And now I'm going to actually zoom out to show you how those townships are then divided up. This is an example of what it would look like on a real map, but we can see that in a township, each township is divided into sections, and the sections, there are 36 of them in every township, and they are numbered in a very interesting way. We always start in the north easternmost corner, and we divide it up into a, a new grid. So it goes from right to left, starting in that top right corner and it wiggles its way down kind of like a snake into the bottom right corner. So if you look at this it's always one, two, three, four, five, six, and then the sectioning goes down and continues over. So seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. And so on until you get all the way down to thirty-six. Each one of these boxes can then be divided into quadrants, which let me see if I have it. it isn't shown on here. Um, but we could then further divide these into quadrants. So we could look at the northeast quadrant of section six in township, you know, T5N, 
r3 east or whatever it is that we're looking at okay now what's really interesting is when we look at these section numbers they are shown on our topographic maps and that's what we will look at next now we're looking at part of the madison east quadrangle i'll zoom out so that you can see that okay madison east quadrangle and we're just zooming in on this top area right here um, because it is easy to see because there isn't as much information now if you have some trouble telling reds and browns apart, seeing some of the section data may be difficult, but if you look closely, you should notice that there is a number sort of in the middle. These are dark red, might be interpreted as brown, but we can actually look at this box right here. There's a red line, it goes down. It does in fact run on part of the highways and then back up. This is section 35. Okay, over here we have section 36 and section 34. Now, if you remember from the handout, okay, section 35, 36, and 34, these are at the very bottom of one of these township boxes. So if we wanted to go and scroll over here, we can actually see in red the differences between those townships. So anything north of this line is in township 8 north and anything down below is Township 7 North. Okay, If we continue over to the side, we can see we have Section 34, Section 33, and as you recall in the handout, 33, 32, 31, when we get to Section 31, it's going to go back into a new range. So we can actually take a look as we go through. We have Section 33, Section 32, We have section 31, it's kind of labeled up here in the red, and then it stops. And actually, if you look really closely in this red area, again, I apologize for the red on red, but we have range 10 east and range 9 east. So that actually tells us where the edge of this big township box is. And over here, we can see we have section 1, and up here, we have a section 36. So in this case, the township, um, it actually kind of aligns up kind of a little bit crookedy, if you will. Um, so the bottom of Township 7 North is here, and then it jogs up to here and over again. Okay, and that's just again because a lot of this was divided up. Um, not exactly in a perfect grid manner, but they did, did pretty close together. So that's how you can read this. If you wanted to figure out what this area of Maple Bluff is and really write it all down, um, we would say that this is in Township 7 North, and then we would look right here. We can scroll up to the top of the map as well if we want to see it on the top of the map. Right here, we're in range 9 east, section 1. Whereas this location right here, let's say we want to know where the sewage disposal is. We would say that this is in township 8 north because we know we're up here. And we're in range 10 east, section 31. And that's how we can go through this whole map and try to look at specific features to figure out where they are located using the township and range, that PLS system. Let's say we wanted to know about um, we'll say Lake Farm County Park and we wanted to know where this location was. We know that it's in section 32 and we would just have to start scrolling up and down and over to try to figure out where it is. So let's do that. If we come down here, there's actually a little bit of a help right here. We know that we're in Township 7 North and we have to go and figure out for the range. We can go all the way back up or down. Maybe we can see it down. We know that we're in range 10 East. Just following that line again and we're in section 32. So that's how you find locations using the PLS coordinates on a topographic map.